I've got some more fence material reviews coming up, but first I wanted to give you a quick update on the apple cider vinegar. We started offering ACV free choice with salt about two months ago. Since that time, the consumption has leveled out and we've averaged about three ounces per head per day. Our pastures used up and we're feeding dry grass hay. The original plan was to have more grass stockpile, but that didn't work out. However, it looks like the drought is waning and we have hope of stockpiling grass this next year. Here's a couple things I've noticed with the ACV. Number one, I'm feeding less hay. From the start, I cut back 20% from normal, which amounts to about 5 pounds per day. The cows seem well satisfied and have not lost condition. I had to increase the feed a couple times during severe cold and snow, but other than that, I think we'll be able to stay at 20 pounds per day till they start nursing calves. Judging from the manure pats, the ACV has improved digestion. That's the main reason I was interested in it in the first place. I knew my cows would need some help digesting some lower quality dry forage this winter. I've been told that healthy cow manure should look like pumpkin pie with a dimple in the middle. Dry stacked manure is a sign of imbalanced digestion and it'll be hard to break down into the soil. Number three, I was hoping to see some improvement in parasite control. The alkaline forming response from the ACV should improve the immune system and hinder parasites. In the past, we've poured all the cows twice a year with ivermectin, but still had trouble with fence rubbing in the spring. The ACV hasn't stopped it, but it has decreased it some. I also notice a healthier shine to the hair coat, especially on my heifer calves. I'm also concerned about soil health with ivermectin, as it's reported to be harmful to dung beetles and earthworms. At the current rate, the hay savings alone will pay for the ACV. As far as labor, it takes only a few minutes once a week to check the tubs and refill. I can easily carry it with me on the rock box in the front of the tractor. Overall, I'm happy with the results I'm seeing. The jury's still out to see if it will promote healthier calves, but we're about to find out. I'll see you next time on the Herd Quitter Minute.